so sick sick we've got most of an awesome studio together but something else i thought you might want to do is add a second screen to your system so you can see this one is nicely lined up to this uh to this screen too here and that's because this is a blueprint there's a blueprint actor you can actually just follow uh can you go browse to asset you can see here that in the content composure additional bps we've got a blueprint screen uh and you can drag this one in say you want another screen in your in your system and this is just a blueprint that inherits from the video plane placement actor so you can go if we go edit in blueprint there's actually not not a lot going on here at all uh some of this some of this construction script and event event graph stuff is actually uh experimental at the moment but really what we've got is a blueprint we've got a video plane placement actor We've got a blueprint that inherits from uh, parent class our video plane placement. I've just given it an extra mesh around the edge, so it's not just a floating screen. Um, so we've actually got this screen mesh. I think we've only got one screen mesh to choose from, maybe two. Got another screen mesh there. You could add that if you want. It's a different size, but um, you could also create your own screen mesh. Yeah, this essentially acts exactly the same as another video plane placement actor. So say we want another spout feed going onto this screen as well. What we can do, we can go right click, add a layer element, add a media plate, and we'll call, leave this called media plate 2 for now and i'm just going to use a spout source let's do let's do another screen capture in and then we can just add transform compositing pass we can delete all of these and we can add a our plane transform pass and we can select our plane from this list now so uh, i can't remember what it's called so i'm going to use the ink dropper let's just bp screen and as soon as we select that that's there in our comp so we know that that's picking that up uh, but back here it won't yet be on here what we need to do is go into our, our transform pass change this to two screen layout got our talent our cg back screen one got our mat and we just need to pick back screen two media plate two and as long as all these names correspond to the right name here media plate one dot talent media plate one dot talent uh, cg is our cg back screen one is back screen one uh, mat is 3d mat and back screen two is media plate two there's just one mistake in this transform pass so we can fix that really quickly uh, if we double ch double click the transform pass that takes into the material which composites all our elements together and all we need to do is this mat should just be picking up the alpha channel uh, this is should just be hooking up to the alpha channel and we also need to do a one minus so you just hook that up apply and save that and your, and your material should work perfectly now. And now we can see this two screen layout, transform part two screen layout uh, works for both screens. If we check out the logic that this is actually using, we can see that we've got a back screen two here and it's actually got this back screen two on or off uh, slider, which is just this. But basically if we wanted to add yet another screen, all we need to do is just copy these two nodes, copy and paste and rename this with an f2 back screen 3 and rgba into here and we're just working backwards because the screens always go behind everything else and we can just hook that up like so and that would make yet another screen so now if we compile and save uh, we have an option for back screen 3 here and this is why i had this slider because so say i can set this to media plate 2 and then set this to none. This slider will mean that you can have it set to none. And if you turn that off, then you can use this transform pass in that way. But yeah, now I could drag in another one of these. Rotate. Um, copy and paste one of these. Go to transform pass. Select the correct media plate. Okay. Over here. Go back to media plate 3. I'll turn this on again. Keep that on. And yeah, now we've got three screens. And yeah, so you could keyframe your own sort of cool animations, you can make the screens, make the screens come in like this. Um, yeah, anything you want to keyframe in like that, you can do in normal normal sequencer stuff. So yeah, that's how you would add more screens. And obviously, this all ties in with all the rest of the level functionality that's already there. So yeah, I hope that's helpful. Uh, hopefully, it gets you doing more awesome dynamic stuff with this virtual production system. Cheers.